Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Hearthstone World Championship Taiwanese Qualifiers. I am Rapid, I'll be bringing you guys these games in English because they were originally brought to you guys in Chinese and might have been missed a little bit. We're in a game number three, the deciding game here in the first round of the round of 128. This is Group C action featuring Omaz versus Smile HJD. Um, Smile picked up game one with a Zulok and Omaz brought it back with his Priest. And so in game number three, I'll be bringing Priest versus Smile HJD's Freeze Mage. It's uh, it's Freeze Mage with the Giants in the deck to add a little bit of extra burst damage late game because uh, you're going to have a, either a large hand size or be very low health with Ice Block. So it's a little bit of a tech to the deck after it was first created by guys like Duckwing Face and uh, other big mage players out there. So uh, Amaz gets basically the best hand you could hope for he lands the cleric on top of power word shield and now he's got a 1-5 and a 1-3 on board this is crazy card draw early you're gonna have incredibly sticky minions based on the damage that freeze mage can do early on and so now the burden is put on smile uh he actually runs loot hoarders in this deck i don't really see that all that often you do need card draw but traditionally loot hoarders are not where you get it so uh, at least for this at this point in time you can go ahead and injure yourself all you want. Cleric's going to be more than happy uh, to take that damage get a ton of card draw coming your way. And this is actually great for the first, like, four to five turns, but later on towards the end of the game, having all this early card draw can start to uh, kind of mess you up because you're going to have a very small deck size coming into, like, turn seven, turn eight. Uh, and especially if you're playing against uh, particular rogue variants, like with Cold Light Oracles, uh, you can get into a lot of trouble if you overdraw yourself with, uh, with clerics early on. But uh, you can see even a Cold Light Oracle here. Um... This is super weird uh, to see things like cold light oracle, cold light oracles, and um, all the other kind of wacky draw systems you want. Uh, usually, you don't uh, you don't cold light oracle. That's that's more of like a, a certain type of like tempo rogue that would run that. But or if you're going for like the Mukla bananas and trying to deck him out uh, with uh, backspacing over his hand like that. So you're uh, gonna see the four drop probably be an Alkanai for a Maz. Uh, that would also let him clear out things with uh, with minions if he wanted to. Instead, he's going to circle, and the confusing thing for me is why he doesn't, like, trade and then... Oh, because that would give him too many cards. I see. Very smart, Amaz. Well played. Uh, he does get the Circle of Healing for two cards and um, a very healed up, not quite so injured, Blade Master. Um, at, at this point, you have to kind of be getting scared if you're Smile, uh, because not only have you not put on any pressure, you've been unable to clear or freeze the board, and your hand is really not bursty enough, and you don't have the mana uh, in order to be able to throw down enough, uh, enough of a threat. Now, I think what he's thinking about right now is, does he Ice Block? coin into fire blast and kill the middle cleric but at this point you've, you've got bigger problems um ideally for the freeze mage you want to save your ice blocks for like turn nine turn ten so you can alex Straza, um and then nuke him down with either uh frost bolts and um ice lances or just throw down pyroblast and then kill him off with any ancillary burn damage you have there at the end uh but usually it's about it's all about the alex Straza, uh towards the end of the game. This time around, he's going to have to get it done with with uh, with Giants, but he doesn't have any sort of things to combo, any Ice Lances to combo with the Frost Bolts, uh, or really any way to clear out this early on. And I think playing the Ice Block there was a pretty big misplay from the Smile, because I'm mean, sure he's going to want to have that extra mana later on to board clear, instead of going for, um, uh, you know, losing this mana early on and not being able to take down things like uh, the Blade Master. So he didn't put out any pressure on the board. He didn't really have any pressure to put out on the board, to be fair. And now Amaz is forced with, is faced with um, a little bit of an interesting problem. He's like, all right, well, I have a hand. I got 10 cards in my hand. What do I do with them? Because I don't want to draw anymore. Uh, he plays the Azure Drake because it's on curve, but it does mean that he's going to uh, discard a card next turn if I'm counting that correctly yeah he's got 10 cards in hand so he loses a card next turn no matter what um big hand here so if that molten giant were a uh, mountain giant you just play it right now super easy pretty free uh, I think that's like a three mana mountain giant if I'm not mistaken might be four yeah I think it's four with nine because uh, you start with 12 and then nine is three 
wow, it's almost like math does stuff. And that's pretty cool. So at this point, you freeze the Azure Drake, and you're just sitting at like, well, do I fire blast? Because if you fire blast, you basically don't do anything with your turn. And more importantly, you leave the same problems on the board that were there last time and risk even more of them coming your way uh, the, uh, the next turn. Uh, he's already got one ice block out, so he'll be safe for the next, like, three turns from dying. Although I guess that could be a little bit generous. And he does wind up going with the fire blast, so... The struggle is being a frost mage. At this point, you want to have used your AoE. To, so I didn't catch what card that was that was discarded, but what does Amaz go for? As long as he doesn't heal any minions, he'll be fine as far as, you know, not discarding any more cards. And it's only at nine cards now, so he can keep drawing them uh, later on. Another loot hoarder coming your way. So we've seen two loot hoarders, a, uh, a cold light oracle, some wacky ways of drawing cards. If you smile, I mean, he did get Amaz to discard one, but he has much bigger problems out there on the board. Um, he's on turn six. He can coin Pyro, or he can coin Flame Strike if he wants. Um, that doesn't really fix any of his problems because there's odd health minions on the field. <laughs> so probably want to wait until next turn. Uh, Cone of Cold now going to come out, and that's actually really good because it puts a uh, puts the cleric and Sylvanas within Pyroblast, or Fire. Ah, apologies, had to mute my mic for a second as I was uh, explosively coughing. Don't worry, I'm okay. Uh, flame Strike, that's what I was going for. Um, <laughs> I was busy dying. Uh, flame Strike out there, it's a good option next turn, and, uh, or rather this turn. Uh, at least this next turn for Smile. So what does Maz do? Uh, he does have Ragnaros in his hand. That'll be coming out next turn almost assuredly. But at this point, Amaz is in probably the best shape you can get versus a Freeze Mage. Uh, you may not be able to dish out a ton of damage, but you have direct damage in your hand, uh, which is going to be a great way of popping that last 17 or 16 health out there and uh, getting that ice block down. You have to be careful when you break ice blocks because uh, you you need to make sure that you leave them as little health as possible so they don't like either heal up or you can burst them down exactly when you need to in case they're able to wave clear um, with uh, things like flame strikes or uh, things like that. So instead he goes for the Alcani heal combo. That'll let him attack with the Blade Master instead of using it to trade, and it keeps his hand at nine, so he's not at risk of dis of uh, discarding any more champions. And uh, champions, <laughs> you can tell what game I've been casting primarily. Uh, any more cards? So uh, right here, I, I think the only thing you can really do is flame strike. I mean, it's just too valuable. Sure, you leave two monsters on the field, but you're at seven mana, and Amaz has to see this coming. So he's pretty much just sacrificing Sylvanas. Didn't really get to do much with Sylvanas, to be honest. That rhymed, but uh, I, it, it's really not a perfect solution at all because it still leaves minions on the board for Amaz, and that's what he's going to use to pop the uh, ice block probably next turn because uh, there's no way that he can stop the Alcani from going away. Uh, unless he just fireballs it, and of course that leaves Sylvanas up and a whole host of other problems. So this is actually looking really, really good for Amaz. There's no way that uh, Smile can clear the board. Uh, he can freeze in another one with another um, uh, Frost Blast, but that only really like delays his problems. And he's still going to have to deal with the next turn off curve. So better to do it, uh, to do it now! Smile um, and clear off as much as he can. Uh, still probably leaves Amaz with enough damage to pop the ice block this turn. So that puts... Anytime you pop an ice block on a uh, freeze mage, you have two turns and then he dies. So you got... Oh, he actually used the damage from the earthen ring. That's actually really smart. Uh, it gives him a lot of extra offense and he didn't have to use something like a holy fire uh, to get that burst down without getting any healing off of it. And to be honest, this mage deck just really hasn't done anything for Smile. Um, really... It, Probably the best start you could possibly ask for if you're a Maz, uh, with a double clerics and then double power bird shield. That just like screams early game in a really annoying voice. So, well, it's really annoying for Smile. It's pretty great for a Maz. He will drop the uh, the giant. He's like, oh look, molten giant. I just dropped an eight eight for free. And Maz is like, well, you got probably bigger problems out there. Uses Arcane Intellect, and it's going to draw a couple cards, but those are not the cards he needed. Those are the cards he needed like three turns ago, uh, along with some 
you know, some nice innervates <laughs> somehow thrown into his deck. Because uh, he was way strapped for mana and just couldn't keep up with the stuff Amaz was throwing down just because of how strong Amaz's hand was. So, at this point, you probably kill the Alkanai with a... Hmm, excuse me, uh, kill the Alkanai with a Fire Blast and then uh, Ice Block? Of course, you have to use the coin. Or you don't have to use the coin to do that, so... There is the ice block. He knows he's safe next turn, but how does he get the damage that he needs with just two and a half mana? Of course, the half mana is whether or not you use the coin. It's like a flip of a coin. Yeah, all right. So you're going to get rid of at least one of the um, injured blade masters. This is actually where you want flame strike, but you know, only one flame strike in the deck is probably not a great way uh, to have it when you really need it, or to at least be able to board killer twice. Uh, so at this point, Amaz, uh, there's no flare, so no way to get through the ice block uh, this turn unless you uh, just talking about damage. And I think at this point, you either play Ragnaros just for uh, for lulls. Uh, probably better option is Shadow Word Death. Uh, the uh, the giant and then that's exactly what he's gonna do. So no questions there Heals the mage and he doesn't even have to attack. He just pops the ice block Also works very well if that was like a bluff uh, From the smile and it was actually not ice block It's uh, just a little bit of a way of uh, checking that out So here's where you freeze and doomsayer and then lose the game next turn anyway Because uh, he's still gonna have the Alkanai out there. I mean you can always you know kill the Alkanai but maybe he's got an extra one in his hand. You really don't know what you're going up against. So uh, at this point, that's basically your only option. Doomsayer into um, Freeze and then just pass and hope for the best. No more ice blocks out there. No way to heal or shield or anything else. And at this point, well, Smile HJD is pretty dead. And I think he's starting to realize that uh, not a whole lot of other options left uh, left his way. Uh, he can throw down the uh, the freeze, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. And he's like, "Hey man, I gotta, I gotta I'm gonna do damage. First six damage of the game, no kill potential, even next turn. So if by some miracle he survives this turn, uh, yeah, there's nothing to do. He also forgot to kill the Alkanai, so he just dies to heal anyway. And that is game number three and the series going to Amaz, who will advance to the next round in the round of 28 here at the uh, Hearthstone World Championship Taiwanese qualifiers.